Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sorry, pal. We're out of gas and your engine is boiling. Let's see if we can fix you up here. We'll be back on the road in no time. Stranded in the middle of nowhere. Hello guys and welcome to Truberbrook. A setting in Germany in the 60s, it's a sci-fi mystery that we gotta kind of figure out as we go along. I did play a little bit just to get used to controls, uh, how things go along. It's basically like a point and click kind of thing. Uh, there's only a few things I can do. If I use my mouse, I, I can point and click to have them walk somewhere. Uh, double click makes them walk faster. I for inventory. Um, and the space bar shows me spots where I can click on things and check things out. So like tires here. It gives me an inspection. My tires should still last a couple of miles. So basically what I found out is like when I click like on the toolbox here, uh, of course I can inspect it. And usually this means you can, there's something there that you can grab. Um, of course over here is dialogue when we talk to people and this is like to fix things or to pay people or whatever. So for the most part, I'm going to let the game kind of talk over. Um, it's mostly dialogue and stuff. Maybe I'll chime in once in a while. The less quieter I am, probably the better. So sit back, relax, and let's see where the game takes us. But uh, we're going to head on over to the toolbox here to start with. It's always this good. This box contains only some rusty pliers. It's always good to get something in your inventory. Hansen's ice cream. I used to love it when I was little. Hello? Anybody in there? I could really use some gas. I wish. It's frozen shut. Dad used to say... A flawless establishment needs flawless window panes. No way. A hidden replacement key. That was too easy. As if it wanted to be found. It fits. That was almost too easy. It's pitch black. I can't even see my own hands. There's something funny about that picture. Oops! A hidden switch. This must be the main fuse. It's a picture of a buffalo. Twenty percent bun, five percent cold cuts, and seventy-five percent cling film. Thanks, but no thanks. Extra large, no refill. Coffee. If there's something I can't stand, it's cherry pie and hot coffee. What I wouldn't give to be there. A 
electrical cables. Terra Incognita Scenic Highway. Next town ahead. Long shot by the sea. Sounds promising. Now they are working again. Drink up. You must be dying of thirst. If it wasn't for the sand and rubble, the impenetrable darkness, the legions of bugs and that awful smell of gasoline everywhere, this shore could make a nice place for a picnic. I wish. It's frozen shut. At least the cold chain is unbroken. Zip. I think I had to kill the power to the freezer to get water. Cold as ice. Exactly what I need. There you go. Have some Kool-Aid. Good to go. But which way? If I only had a clue where I am. Gas stations must have maps. This is the end of nowhere. I wonder if these postcards would ever reach their destination. This one shows a map of the area. I'll take it with me. Oh, well, there we go. Quite off the beaten track. Tiny rock gas station, a beacon in the dark. Done. Finally we can make off again. Oh, come on. Start already. It's that darn oil pump again. Looks like we'll be stuck here for a while. That sounds promising. So as you can see, it's just a, a puzzly kind of a game you got to figure out. Um, that scene I kind of played before, but I wanted to, I didn't just go to everything right away. I was just basically just getting used to the controls before I uh, started recording, gave it a whirl. Looks like we're getting a ride. I'm not sure I'd want to take that wooden bridge in a car slash van. The scenery and graphics are pretty good.
we live on top of a flipping mountain or what here? Where are we going? Looks like what goes up must come down. And that must be Trooper Book. sure this is the right place when's the next bus back to the city Beverly I have arrived I feel spewn out into the most barren dark void of Europe all things considered this could most likely be the best vacation ever feeling chilled out already The next city is like a thousand miles away. So now we are a different character. Ah yes, that's where I am. The bus stop. My gateway to the outside world. Looks cold. Hades. Paddleboat rental, souvenirs, fishing supplies. Closed. A hiking map of the region. The upper section has been torn off. Arrived at destination after a short walk. Trubberbrook, a tranquil little town. Seems a bit run down. I must say, Beverly, I absolutely fell in love with this town already. That is one strange looking cat. There's a selection of local charcuterie on display. Wurstebrei, Stippgrütze, Schlachte Platte, Potorke, Tote Oma. I'm glad he said it, not me. That's probably the town's landmark. This must be the place. Evening. Hey. That's the girl from the gas station. Nobody there, huh? Doesn't seem so. Please ring bell for service. We only serve small pots of coffee outside the restaurant. Where is everyone? I saw someone here just a minute ago. The 
Hello? I'm not going to give up. Good afternoon. How can I help you, darling? Um, there's a room reserved for me. You know the, the lottery? I won a stay over here. You won? How can you win a stay in Trüberbrook? Well, actually, I don't really remember taking part in any lottery myself. Yet I received this winning notification. What was the name again? Doctor. Hans Tannhauser. Dr. Hans Tannhauser. Tannhauser, Tannhauser, Elevenhauser. <laughs> oh, oh, Dr. Hans Tannhauser. Oh, yes, here we have it. Huh. Say, is it a quiet room? Seeking some peace and quiet, uh-huh. Well, I'm working on a text and I could really use some serenity. Text? Are you a kind of writer or something? I'm a physicist. Right now, I'm writing a paper on quantum physics. I've heard worse. You arrived just in time for the big anniversary celebration. Trüberbrook is a bit noisier than usual around these days. But apart from that, I'd say you have nothing to worry about in terms of disturbance. Here's your key, Dr. Tenhauser. My name is Trude, by the way. If you don't mind, where are all the other guests? Let's put it this way. The season in Trüberbrook is already over. I get the impression the season has been over for some time. They're all looking at us. We meet a stranger. Aren't they all strangers, really? just disappear with my paper? Something unusual happened. There was an uninvited guest in my room tonight. Now that he's escaped, I'm going to chase him down. As one would. At least it seems the burglar didn't rummage through the cabinet. I don't want to mess up the crime scene. What is this? Some kind of goo. <laughs> Maybe he's still in the room. Where did he go? Even more of that strange goo. Darkest night. In the pale starlight, this village appears to be composed of jagged silhouettes and loneliness. Well, the footprints are leading up this pathway, but I am noticing someone standing here. Hey there. Taking a little night stroll? Someone was in my room. You only just got here and you already have secret admirers? No, it was a burglar. I think. Well, I haven't seen anyone sneaking around here. But if I were you, I would probably follow these somewhat extremely obvious footprints. You've got a point there. Please excuse me. This situation is growing aggravating. 
I followed the person who stole my notes into a kind of dead-end street. And now he's vanished. Picture me standing here at the edge of the world, stripped of my writings. I wonder who on earth would steal a paper on quantum physics. Do you like ghost stories? It is said that a proto-Germanic cult used to live up here in the mountains. They prayed to the spirits of the forests. I know it's a long shot, but maybe this visitor of yours is one of those spirits? Evil spirits? Nonsense, I was just trying to mess with you. What was your name again? Tenhauser? Name's Gretchen. I'm an anthropologist. In fact, those old proto-Germanic ritual grounds just so happen to be my special subject. One of them is supposedly somewhere around here, though I haven't been able to find it yet. Gretchen, well met. Now that's all well and good, but what am I going to do without my notes? You know what? I'm going to help you track down that burglar. It looks like he escaped with one of the old gondolas. I bet he's hiding somewhere in the mountains, which incidentally is also where I was heading. Come on, you're a scientist. You're coming with me now and you're going to help me find this ritual site. Who knows, maybe you'll even find your evil spirit there. The one with an interest in quantum whatchamacallits. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. So what do you say? You with me? Uh, no thanks. I already have an appointment. I'm not so much of a uh, wee better. So it's like, no matter what choice I'm taking, it's like, no. I... Ha! I knew you had the spirit of adventure in you. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. The early bird catches the worm and all that. We have to find a way up the mountain. It would be easiest if we used a cable car. I reckon that's also what our friend thought. The cable car doesn't exactly appear to be in pristine condition. What do you think? Don't worry, I'm sure I can fix this. It almost seemed like no matter what I chose there, it was going to be just the same option of a, I was going. So, because all I got out was I. I. Fix this. The master key is missing and a weasel damaged the electric mains. Maybe it was the burglar who did this. The plan. I'll hold the position and try my best. Why don't you take a look around town? We need the master key for the cable car. Also, we need to override the broken mains. Think you can remember that? I'll try to remember. Let's go. This is going to be fun. These binoculars should provide an excellent view of the opposite lake shore. I have to insert a coin first. High voltage. There's got to be a way we can fix this. Judging by the smell, this was used to transport cookies and lollipops. Hello? Anybody there? What was that? This old generator is running at maximum strength. It's even sending out sparks. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Locked. Looks like I'm going back to town. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. I've been wondering about that cable car. I don't want to think about the old cable car. 
This wobbling table is simply unbearable. It's driving me crazy. You better keep your distance. This table has a horrible wobble. Why do I feel like I gotta fix the table in order to talk to this guy? Good morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. Can you tell me something about the old cable car? The cable car leads up to the old mine. It used to belong to the Baron von Zülz. Then this company from overseas forced him to sell it. Who exactly is this Baron von Zülz? Baron von Zülz used to run the mine, a philanthropist and patron of the arts. His wife was a flamboyant Baroness von Zülz. You must have heard of her. Anyway, when the company took over the mine, the Baroness dropped him as well and left the Baron behind. A broken man. Now his cat is his only remaining pleasure. What were they mining for? Do you know? An old silver mine. So nothing a um, quantum physicist would be interested in. It's been a few years, back in the days, when there was enough work for everyone. Then this company took over the mine, only to shut it down immediately. So why did they shut down the mine? There is talk and rumors all over the town. Allegedly, people started disappearing without a trace. Tourists, poor laborers without families, the odd stranger. Some folks were also talking about toxic residues in the air and the water. But nobody knows anything with certainty. If you ask me, I'm just glad the whole affair has come to an end. All those rumors have kept Spargas away for years, as you can see for yourself. What about this mysterious company you were talking of? They are called Millennium Cooperative or something like that. A very dubious corporation. They have connections to the top, if you know what I mean. Way up to the highest circles of power. What became of the people working the mine? More and more outsiders came to town. Nobody knows what they were actually doing in the mines. Some went missing, some went crazy. Who can tell? At one point, they even bought the old sanitarium in order to provide housing for their workers. That was before the mine shut down, of course. I've heard enough. Thank you. Anything else I can do for you? This establishment you call your own has quite the charm. A family business for more than 75 years. Actually, I took over the guest house together with my brother. But now it's just me and my little daughter. Being the only guest, I was wondering, well, how's the season going so far? Season? We haven't had one in ages. So what happened to your brother? The only interest that scoundrel had was in his bottles. In the end, that good-for-nothing took a half too much of his bolts and shoes and just made off. I've heard enough. Thank you. Anything else I can do for you? I'll be leaving then. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. By the way, the buffet is open. Please help yourself. Well, I'm really just trying to find the key. What's this? Looks like a coaster. Hmm. Now where would this lead to? Locked. Science fiction. Something involving spaceships. Please don't stand there. Excuse me, didn't mean to. What's that you're watching? Never seen a TV before? Coming up next, 
a new episode of Rocket Ship Andromeda. Uh. Have you been living under a rock? With a TV set, you can take journeys to other worlds. Now that I think of it, I have never seen you here before. Are you from another world as well? Depends on how you look at it. My name is Hans. I just arrived from Berlin. Hey Hans, I'm Leni. My mom owns the place. 70,000 light years from home, the rocket ship has stranded in star system Omega-3. Is Berlin also in star system Omega-3? Berlin is located right in the middle of Brandenburg. So it is worlds apart. Brandenburg? Never heard of it. Star Cyber Notation Commander Aurora is searching for a way back home. And what do you do for a living? Are you a famous cyber notation too? I'm a quantum physicist. Quantum... what? Anyways, I'm going to be a star cyber notation. Only Commander Aurora can disintegrate the even Rulands into thin air with her space beams. So, do you Bellinellians have any special powers? Can you make things disappear? I can make incredible amounts of candy disappear. <laughs> I can do that too. Stay tuned, folks. We will be right back after a few consumer-oriented product endorsements. My uncle knew how to make things disappear as well. I also know where, but I mustn't tell anyone on Earth. Well, after all, I'm not originally from Earth. I'm a Berlin alien, remember? Right. But then, how can you prove you're not an Earthling? I'll think of something. Look, this is the star log I'm using to stay in contact with my home planet. Just met human child Lenny, keeper of a cosmic secret. Awesome. Is this a star log for real? May I please? My pleasure. This is Lenny of Planet Earth speaking. My uncle had a secret stash hidden under a loose plank in room 3. Room 3? That happens to be my room. Room 3 used to be where my uncle Heinz lived. And where is your uncle now? My mom says he is now living on planet No Good. I need to know what happens next. I need to know what happens next. Alright. Hmm. There's something funny about that clock. This can must have fallen off the table. Modern cuisine. A lump of minced meat in the shape of a hedgehog, garnished with spike resembling breadsticks. Toast Hawaii. Cheese skewers. Looks a bit shabby. I don't want to take this with me. If anywhere, it belongs in the trash. But I love cheese skewers. Is that a maggot? It's having a good time. I'll save you, my little friend. Why are we grabbing a maggot? I have no idea. But now we must head upstairs to see what's hidden in our room. Maybe the key's here. Before you even know, the world lies in ruins. I hope this isn't a bad omen. There's something lying on the floor. It's a massage rod. Somebody must have misplaced it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> uh, 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 things like that in games that just go, he's got to make you laugh. Maybe somebody hid their money in there. Supplemental. I'm afraid the condition of my room is far below expected. This muddle of spots and drips is probably telling more about the room's many previous occupants than I'd wish to know. Huh. There really is a hidden stash below. Loads of useless junk, and an almost empty bottle of schnapps. I'll only take the schnapps. Bolts and shoes. At least it seems the burglar didn't rummage through the cabinet. It's weird. I couldn't, I couldn't, some of this stuff wasn't here before, I don't think. I couldn't come over and open this cabinet. Now I can, so you may have to double back sometimes to grab stuff. Just a hanger. Another hanger. Fresh air is still the preferable way to dry your laundry. Morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. About the cable car? Sure. What else do you want to know? Would you have the whole story in detail for me again? No, we, so we heard everything heard we can about the cable Thank car. You. Anything else I can do for you? This establishment you call your own has quite the charm. A family business for more than 75 years. Actually, I took over the guest house together with my brother. That door over there hasn't been opened in a while, has it? That's the door to the cellar, where my brother built his little lair. No one has taken any interest in that door since he left. He just took the key with him. Your daughter really likes watching TV, huh? You see, the kid is always in front of the box. She's got her mind set on extraterrestrials and alien worlds. Nonsense, don't you think? Anything else I can do for you? Truda, would you pour me one of your Pilsner beers? Please? I'm ready for a beer. Just a second, Professor. Here, a coaster. There you go. Cheers. Maybe it's some kind of special beer. Why do I feel like these coasters? So there's like keys everywhere apparently. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. You've got yourself a nice spot here. It's heartbreaking to see the town in decline like this. Everything's going down the drain, just like this wobbly table. I think I need can I, uh, coasters on a table would work. And a tablecloth, maybe? What's this? The table stopped wobbling? Oh, thank you so very much. I was hardly able to focus on anything else but this cursed wobblery. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Could you tell me something about the cable car in this town? Uh, don't bring up the old cable car. 
I don't even want to think about it. Are you feeling any better, now that the table isn't wobbling anymore? Thank you for asking. But joy? What does it even mean? My life lost most of its joy since Claus disappeared. Who is Claus? Claus is my tomcat, an angel of an animal. He was the only one to always remain by my side. But now, he's vanished without a trace. Everything in this world is going down the drain. Mark my words. Maybe he just went for a stroll. I don't know. Claus was always faithful and stood by my side. Then he just disappeared without a trace. You can't rely on anything in this world anymore. Let me tell you. It's just awful. So what's with the cable car? I used to own the cable car. In fact, uh, the whole mine. Everything was taken away from me. Those maniacs destroyed everything. The cable car, the mine, uh, the whole village. Please, go on. More and more outsiders came to town. What they were actually up to in the mine? No one knows for certain. But after a few years of quick profits, they shut down the place and closed the cable car all together in one go. Just think of it. This was my life's work. They closed down the mines, drove away the people, and turned a once flourishing community into a ghost town. What do you mean they destroyed everything? First, they stripped me of the mine. Then, more and more dubious eggheads and foreign workers started pouring into town, driving visitors away with the gigantic machines. Who are these maniacs you're referring to? The Millennium Cooperative, a multinational conglomerate of enterprises. Ruthless and unscrupulous. They leave us little family businesses with next to nothing. You ran a mining business? Well, but yes. I am the Baron von Zulz, entrepreneur and mining engineer in the third generation, district mayor of Truberbrook Zulz and Truberbrook Dussel, assistant secretary to the municipal council, patron of Truberbrook and the arts, well known beyond the borders of this country. These must have been difficult times for you. I appreciate your concern. Would you mind lending me the key to... I had to do all that talk and get the key to the cable car. Wow. Would you mind lending me the key to the old cable car? <sighs> the cable car, the cable car. What do you want with it? There's nothing worthwhile up there. Don't bother me with your mumbo jumbo, will ya? My faithful cat Claus has abandoned me. That's all I can think of right now. Mike, okay, I fixed the table to talk to him. I got all that out of him. And now apparently I need to find the cat. We saw the cat here before. Uh, well, go back this way. It's either out here or up to the mine area. And there's the, well, cat, I suppose. I do have a can of sardines or something. It won't be this easy getting close to it. Um... We know well enough that cats like to climb. Unfortunately, their bodies seem to be designed for climbing upwards only. Anyway, Beverly, I've spotted a gigantic red tabby in a tree, which, on closer inspection, could in fact also be more like a fox. Assistance may be required. 
I'll just try luring the cat down with a mating call. Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> No reaction. Got me to laugh. Paddle boat rental. One hour, one Deutschmark. So the cat's not going to come climb down. I don't know how to climb up. Can I fix the boat? Why, why can I put tablecloth in a boat for? Soft as a feather. Um. I can't get close enough. Knock him off? What the? Uh, what? That's some sturdy, full-grown reed. Do I like throw it at him, or what am I doing here? Oh, now it's giving me an option to use the reed. The skewer and alcohol. Put alcohol in the ske skewer, blow through the reed, and drug the cat, maybe? Is that what we're doing? I think that's what we're doing. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hmm. And he took off. Somewhere. All right. It would tear me to pieces. I thought it was like a friendly cat. It's going to tear you to pieces? You like this, don't you? Like canned tuna or sardines or something. Okay. It would tear me to pieces. Uh, okay, let's do this. The box. The box I got from the cable car. Did he get did he get his cat? Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Any news about Claus? Nothing. Please excuse me. Uh did the cat go Well the door's closed. There's nothing more this way. Did the cat go up? The cat's up here? Nowhere to run from here, kitty. Well, that's not what you want. Oh, I think he passed out. Um, let's just hope that's all that happened. <laughs> now I've got you. A lot of work. I, I hope we get the key this time. Um, Is this by chance your cat, Claus? Oh, my beloved Claus. Where have you been? You look exhausted, old friend. This got zapped, that's why. 
Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Would you mind lending me the key to the old cable car now? Would you mind lending me the key to the old cable car? You've been so kind to me today. You have reunited an old man with his loyal cat. I'd have given you everything. My heritage, my stocks, my startups. Yet all you desire in your modesty is this aged key. Here you are. I can't fathom what you may want with it, but please take it. So I got the key. I don't know how something we're, uh, I don't know. Let's see what the key does for us. I think there was two things we needed. Um, all right. Hello. Hey. About the cable car. What was the problem with the power line again? We have to fix the high voltage power cord in order to get the cable car running. If you touch it, it will fry your synapses. We still have to reconnect the loose ends somehow. Anything else I can help you with? Yes, I was just about to ask. I just wanted to say hi. All right. It's a well-known fact that weasels have a dangerously loving affection towards all sorts of cables. The present case suggests a rather impressive specimen, judging by the thickness of the cable. Last resort, self-termination. That's not how it works. Are you okay? Do you have brain damage? Hmm. Locked. Now look at all these fishing rods. Quite the collection. You can borrow one if you like, but only in exchange for a pawn. They have a tendency to get lost otherwise. Pawn? You mean deposit? <laughs> well? Oh, thanks. For me? Does this device suffice as a deposit in exchange for the fishing rod? Uh, yes. Feel free to leave it here. Yes, that sounds like a good deal. Um... Just be sure to bring it back, will you? So I actually had to go look this part up because I was kind of struggling trying to figure out with the wires. And you're probably wondering, what am I going fishing for? Remember that maggot we got? Now we need it. We need a bait. Well then, good catch. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> wow. 
What the? Uh, can opener? Make sure we grab our fishing rod. Remember this guy? Looks like it was struck by lightning the other night. Still looks in good condition, though. It was. Now it's a case for the metal restorer. I professionally disassembled this town's landmark, an old set of armor, in a fit of passion. Note to self, make another appointment with the clinical psychologist. <laughs> Are you seeing where this is going now? Let's get this party started. Voila. There's a current again. Now that the cable car is fixed, we need something to replace the missing gondolas. I'll just leave it like that. <laughs> so I came back down to put it back together? Okay. All I all I had to look up was uh, how do I did the how I got the uh, cables together and said I needed the armor down here. I thought it was going, when I grabbed both lines, the current was going to go through the armor. Okay. Not the way I thought it was going to go, but. Hi. Hey. So, how long have you been here? The day before yesterday. Feels much longer ago. And just saying, the public transportation around here, Germany is a mess. Why Trüberbrook of all places? It's hard to find, even on a map. But I'm not from these parts, after all. I've been trying to pinpoint the exact location of those ritual grounds for a while now. And when I finally found them, I immediately took off. The people around here are nice, but also a little weird, don't you think? I was given a warm welcome, though. Tell me about yourself. What would you like to know? So you're from the States, huh? The United States of America. Where from, exactly? Woodenville, Washington. Hmm. Never heard of it. Any bigger cities nearby that I might know? Seattle, the rainy jewel of the Northwest. Heard of it? Oh, yes. I know the place. I was passing through some time ago. You've been to the States? Yes, once. That was a few years back, though. Actually, I had come to New York to attend a conference, but then I got acquainted with some folks there and stayed a while longer. A while longer? In New York City? Not the whole time, no. Took a little road trip. First off to the New England States, Boston, Waterville, all the way up to Moosehead Lake, Mount Catalina and so on. Then, Canada and the Midwest. Montreal, Toronto, Detroit, Chicago. On and on. Then Washington State. Sort of got stuck there. Oregon, down to San Francisco. Ah, those were the days. Wow. You must have passed through Seattle on the way then. Hmm, yes, maybe. And that's where you study? No, I studied on the East Coast. The Cornell, Ithaca, under Dr. Schrodinger. Have you heard of him? Ah, of course. I know the cat. Now I understand why you're on exchange in Germany. Exchange? No, it's more of a coincidence. I won the trip. You won? Don't ask me. I've never taken part in any lottery. 
Interesting. Uh huh. So so. Now it's glowing green. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. The local gondola lift's hauling cables seem to be intact, although there aren't any gondolas or mining carts attached to it. A smell of oil and soil lingers in the air. Hi. Hey. I just wanted to say hi. All right. Don't forget we need to get the cable car working. Um, it's it's working. I'm just trying to figure out what to do next though. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna uh, co hangers. Alright. I'm sure this will take us up the mountain. You're a funny man, Tenhauser. I like it. Seems like the right thing to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! That can't be good. Man, you're some klutz. We'll meet on top. In case you manage to find a way, see ya. 